But we're gonna open it. Let's open it and see what it is. I'm gonna dunk the biscuits. <laughs> Turn this on before we get in deep trouble with Dan. Okay, we'll leave it flashing. Welcome back to the channel. They say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's no point in changing a good thing, so we're not going to start today. So as always, we'll kick the video off with some sales we've had over the last few days or night, whatever it is for you. It's a bit different for you than it is for me. So we'll start off with a personal sale. And when I say personal sale, I mean selling things on Instagram or via phone number or word of mouth. Places where platforms don't rip us for fees. But everything is still declared on my tax bill because it goes through the business account. First up for £10 is this Sonic hand knitted, very fantastically as well, pillowcase. I believe it to be an older one, but this one has gone to Tony at Be Lucky Car Boot Sales. Great channel if you haven't seen him already, go and check him out. He's always up there, loves to haggle and he's quite fun to watch. This one's going to his son, so a big shout out to the both of you, really appreciate it. And it'll be on its way to you today. 50 pence paid. Sorry Tony, but you're not going to make a profit. Over on Vinted for £16, we have sold the Mulberry for Target's little clutch handbaggy type thing. Paid £5 for this from a charity shop, thinking it was going to be worth 40 50 quid, And it probably could have been, but it just wasn't selling. So I was reducing and reducing and then stuck it on Vinted for a lot cheaper and thought, if I could triple up on there, I'll be happy. And I did. £16 going out today. Another one on Vinted just had a big clear out. This is a big bundle of like LOL dolls and things like that. A lot of it's quite broken, a bit tatty, a bit mix matchy. Definitely a bargain in there for somebody who's going to break it down, split it up and sell it individually. So for £4.60, I took an offer on that. Just wanted it gone. Owes me nothing. On eBay now for about £4.60 free postage, I do believe, is this expired HP yellow ink. Yellow ink always takes a long time to sell. If you can't, if you haven't got enough to bundle it up, you're going to be sitting on it. And it was expired in 2022, which doesn't make a massive difference, to be fair. But again, it owes me pennies. That sold for £4.60 free postage. You might have seen me talking about selling expired ink a lot over the last few days because I've sold some. I'm probably going to word this incorrectly, but what this is, as far as I'm aware, is a manufacturer's shelf life guarantee. So meaning, as long as that's on there, it's within its warranty, it's within its guarantee to work, within its guarantee to function the way that it's supposed to, and for you to be able to return it to the manufacturer for refunds, exchanges, etc. That's all that means. Nine times out of 10, 15, 20 year old ink will still work. So just something to bear in mind. The older the ink though, as in we're in 2024 now, when you start looking at 2010, 2009, 2008, those sort of years, you might be expecting some returns, so be prepared for that. But the majority, it's always going to work out in your favour, so the odds are not against you. And for, I think, 16 99 are my testicles. Well, they're not my testicles. I mean, they are. The older I get, they are sort of... I've sold some bowls. £16.49, I think, for a set of two. I just sold a set of four yesterday for, like, 12 quid. Just moving them on. I told you I want to get them in, get them on, and... Get them gone. I hope that doesn't happen to my testicles. So again, as far as I'm aware, that is all the sales that I have going out, private, eBay and Vinted. My main job today is to get a little bit of listing done. I've picked out a few items that I'm going to list regardless. That should take me 10 minutes to do them, if that. I've already pre... Noisy little shits. I've already pre-drafted these, so I know roughly what the price are. So these cost me £5 for the whole bunch. I'm going to list this one for £8.99. I'm going to list this one for between 17 and 20 The same with this one. I'm going to list this one from between 17 and 20 And this one I'll be listing between 20 and 25 Those are the average prices that I saw when I was drafting them. I'll go into more depth when I come to listing it. So that's the average prices that they're going for. I'll work out how many is listed, how many have sold, work out what the ASP is, and the average listing price, and I will undercut whatever's listed and undercut whatever sold and work it out that way. I wanna be shifted. I'm also gonna be listing some more expired ink. This one is expired in 2019. I think I can get about 14.99 for that one as it is, I think, if I remember rightly. And this, if it's in date, they're still selling for like 36 quid. This expired 2018, so I'll probably list it for like 22 quid and get it gone. No offers, just get it shifted. Tommy actually just asked me a question. You won't see this for two days now, but he asked me two days ago, passed. I'm not going to, no, we're not going to get into that again. 
But Tommy said to me, did you turn your returns off? Because I have problems with people returning it because it's not working, blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, Tommy, as a business seller, I cannot turn returns off. I have no choice. So I take the rough with the smooth. I work on averages, like I mentioned before. Those three inks that I sold over the last couple of days, the chances of them all being returned is so, so freaking low. And the profit I've made off of one, let alone all three, if one comes back, it is what it is. I'm also gonna be listing the Liberty tie. Nice little brand to look out for if you ever see Liberty, especially if it's pennies or even up to a couple of quid. Pick it up, it'll soon fly out the door. And I'm going to give this Royal Mail tile a little bash as well. Peter Kerr did see somebody sell one on bids for three quid, unworn. Now that was bids, so it could have just been very unlucky. But I'm still hoping for like a tenner for that at least. I've got to be, surely. Paid a pound. And then I'm going to be listing all three of the Dr. Martin boots. Now, some people have said to me, why don't you just cut this little label off here? Like a Stanley blade. And I was thinking about it. I've had a good look at it. But the thing is... It is really well stitched into this little stitch liner here. It's perfectly in there. I've had a look at folding it up. And when you fold it up to try and take the stitches, it's going to cause a problem just here. It's going to cause a problem on this wing. So anybody who's buying these, they can have the option to do that. I will literally peel this up a little bit on the photo so people can see that it is choppable offable. Chop offable. It is removable. So I've got three pairs. I've got one pair with the London Underground in the blue and red, which are the even earlier ones. And then I've got a few pairs which have the like blue and grey, more modern ones. Even though I say modern, they're still old. Made in England as well. It's just a really, really nice boot. Still stuffed with the cardboard and the thing in there. And there you go. Look, if I was to pick out the London Underground logo off the side here, if I'm if I'm trying to be not deceitful, but trying to remove any sign that it was London Underground, I'm going to have to get involved in taking the tongue out as well. There's London Underground stuff in the tongue. I'd rather just sell them as they are. I paid a five... Look, I got them for £5 a pair, didn't I? I did really, really well on them. I'm not going to mess around picking out stitches and going for things like that. I just, I just can't be bothered with it. Pointless. Oh, I've had another sale. Sorry, I forgot to show you this one, didn't I? Never mind. £9.99 for the Boddington's ashtray. That somebody said, you'll never clean that up, you freaking idiot. It's damaged, it's ruined, but it's all burnt. Oh my God. Listen, these things survived nights and nights of bingos and karaoke's in the stag's head, wherever the freaking hell it came from. These are indestructible. I could slam it on the floor. I'm not going to because it's sold. It's no longer mine. But these are indestructible. Somebody made a comment like, I love the way you just throw all your stuff around and just chuck it around. I'm like, yeah, bro, it's mine. Until it sells, it's mine. If I want to throw it on the floor, I'll lob it at the ceiling. I will and I can. But this has now sold, so I can't, unfortunately. So I'd love to have gave it a tester for you. Melamine, strong stuff. Right then, my babies, let me go and get that listed. I was going to list these as well, but I'm going to need to take them in the house and give them a good old scrub down first so they can go by the door, ready to be scrubbed. Today's box of choice is going to be box O. That took literally no time at all. I've got all the dinosaurs photographed i've got all the ink photographed i've got the liberty tie photographed I'm gonna wash the raw mail tile it's got like a bit of something on the front it looks like he's wiped his nose on it dirty beggar but now what i've got to do is go through these dms and what i'm gonna do is just even though they are dead stock condition they're dead stock they are they're dead, 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 dead stock I'm just gonna wipe them down a little bit I'm just gonna get some dust off with my micro fiber cloth i've got into a really bad habit of looking at the item and not the camera. Really bad habit. Listen, you reseller vloggers. Another tip for you, babies. When you're filming, stare at the camera, not the not yourself like this. So then, guys, I was out today and I was looking look at the camera. When you're on selfie mode, especially on iPhones, I'm guessing it's the same on Android. Probably not. There's a little green light. I'll just stare at the light and then I'll know that I'm I'm talking to you, not talking to me like this. There's a big difference from this to this, a huge difference. If I'm watching a video and you're like this all the time, and you're constantly looking at yourself. Yeah, guys, so I was at the charity shop today and uh, yeah, I went and found, I'm probably gonna turn off. But if you're like this, hello guys, I was at the charity shop today, you know, and I, uh, uh, I'm probably still gonna watch because I'm, I'm engaged with you. <laughs> Just another tip. 
for when you're making videos. I see it a lot. I'm not trying to teach anybody how to suck eggs, but I see a lot of you doing it. Some bigger channels as well do it as well, which is very odd. I'm having deja vu. That's really weird. I need to do something random. Gone. If you get deja vu, do something completely random and it normally goes up like... It's still there. No, it's not. I've also said this before. I've explained this in a previous video before. I'm sick of my worlds and timelines colliding. Colliding. That's a little stray boot for a start. So yeah, I'm just going to microfiber these and... I don't know, I'll waffle. I'm going to microfiber these, get them nice and sparkly, and then get them photographed as well. Hopefully we can flip these within a couple of days with the price I'm planning to put them out. If you're seeing this video, it's going to be two or three days in the past future. I got so confused. I'm in the future now, so... It's going to be two days in the past for you. Yeah, I've nailed it. So if you do reach out and you want them, bear in mind they might be sold. Let's get these up. Looking like a beautiful listing that's going to be. Yeah, very happy. I've just had to give them a little scrub down. They've got those little white spots on them that sort of pick up from... They're like phantom spots. I don't know how they arrive on there. I see them on a lot of dead stock stuff. But we've removed them, got rid of them. Little baby wipe and a microfiber cloth. And we're ready to go. Choo -choo. Don't swear, I'm trying to keep my channel cleaner. Well, I've just finished the, just finished the packing. I'm catching up with the man. Kaju! I say finish the packing, I've got to do the Sonic. Catching up with couch stuff. Catch the couch stuff. The guy is about as fucking unorganised as I am. <laughs> now it's time to list the stuff. I ain't going to sell it if it's going to sit in my camera roll, is it? I mentioned in a previous video, I send it all to my MacBook, put it all into nice tidy folders, A, B, C or D, and then I'll work from that. So I know where my items are screwed up. So that's going to be me for the next half an hour. Oh no, my new table has signs of working on it. Bit of sellotape stuff to it. There we go. Can't wait until this gets a big, fat, dirty scratch in it, so then I can just not babysit it. One of the good things about this is you can lower it to where you want it. Normally, I like to get it around there. So then, uh, I can have my legs up while I'm working. I say working. I obviously mean product research community research watching videos <laughs> and of course having to do some work so I need to stop pissing around it's like an oven in here i'm so glad i'm not in the old office because that was like a greenhouse i would have been dying in there the fact that i never got to see a summer in that i am very happy does anybody watch theo vom he had ed Sheeran on last night such a weird weird combo but it worked Right, let's do some listing. Got to add this clip in here. I'm just sitting here doing all my listing now, getting stuff up. I've just listed the ink and within 37 seconds it sold. £26.99. To buy this brand new and in date is actually £59.99. So expired. The average price is about £39.99. I listed it for £26.99. No offers sold instantly. Got another one to put up in a minute. Bit cheaper this one, but I think that's going to go fast as well. We've had a package, and I know it's for me because it says Ricky Lee, a legend of Tadley. <laughs> this is from, I've covered up the stuff basically because I don't know what return details are on there of Shazzy's. This is from Shazzy, established. You can go check her out over here on the Instagram, and I do believe her eBay account is actually the same as well. Now, she sent me a message saying, Ricky, I've got some stuff I want to send you. I'm not going to get around to it. Oh, I can't be bothered, and I know you can which is optimistic because I can't bother to do anything in life. But we're going to open it. Let's open it and see what it is. She said, sell it, treat yourself, whatever profit's there, treat yourself. So depending on what's in here, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with it. Let's have a little look together. I'm not going to bore you with a cutting open video. Hello. No, she did say one of them's a dress or something. So first off is a blazer of some sort looks new with tags river island london new with tags originally this was 95 quid that's a nice little dinner blazer I'll hang it up there nicely let's get let's see if we can do it like this there we go then we have a ton of what look like me to you bears 
Yeah, me to you, Bears. We got a one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Because that's not a me to you, Bear. That's like a squishy type thing, a goshy. Nine plush. The eel. Hello. Eel with a love heart. Let's have a great day. Lots of plush. This feels like. What on earth is that? It feels like spaghetti. Oh, it's a secret. Oh, this must be the dress thing. So it's still got the tag on it. It's by Maya Deluxe. What I know about dress brands isn't worth knowing. Am I supposed to have kept it in this or something? Was that protecting it? I bet it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It's a lovely little dress, isn't it? Think it'll suit me? I don't know about brands or values, but Maya, Maya Deluxe. It's a lovely little one. Maybe that could be used for like a, I don't know, as a wedding guest or something. It could almost upstage the bride, to be honest. And a hat, which is sellotape down. Probably unintentional. Chicago. No fear, Chicago. That's an older one. Will Smith. Big up Shazzy, massively appreciate that. I'm sure Ada's gonna steal most of those teddies. I don't know about values of stuff. I'll put some screenshots up here if I've looked into it at the time. But if not, please go over and follow Shazzy's Instagram accounts and her eBay account. She's always listing cool stuff and it's always really quite cheap to be honest with you. So I appreciate the lookout, Shazzy. We'll see what Ada wants of these teddy bears first. Thank you. It's very hot, isn't it? Yeah. Should we have a swim? Yeah. Should we have a dip? Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. Wait, we've got the way. That's not <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, it's only warm on top, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> My feet are cold, uh, button, Daddy. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just going to dunk it. Are you ready? I'm going to dunk the biscuits. <laughs> Wim Hof, Wim Hof. I can't do cold. Yes, I mean, I'm not doing any more work for the rest of the day. I'll see you in a bit.